So I want to talk about the very beginnings of the rim delay. So a rim delay is when you have your nail on the rim. Uh, so I'll show you that real quick. You can see it go around. I got a little two-hand throw. It's a good throw to know. It's good to have your disc nice and slick. Uh, the beginnings of the rim delay, one of them is just getting your finger in there and just letting it sit and not worry about what's happening. In the beginning of freestyle, a lot of times it feels like there's a lot going on and uh, it's, it's, it's a lot to consider. So if you're having a problem with all the different things that are going on, one of the easiest things to do is just relax and then let the disc spin around on your nail. Now what you'll notice is that the disc tends to want to go one direction or the other. So with clock spin it goes this way, with counter spin it goes this way. So counter, let's see it just sort of goes around. One of the things you can do to um, help facilitate understanding how to travel with the disc uh, on the rim and your fingernail in the rim is to actually follow it around with your body. So moving your body and moving with the disc. When you see what direction it's going, just follow it around. I'll give an example. So I'm going to go clock with this one. And now if I see this going around, I'm just going to follow it around. And eventually what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to follow it around in a way that, uh, that you have maybe a little more control over it. So you can follow it around and then try and always keep the rim pointed to your face, for example. So I'm going to wait till the rim is pointed to my face, and then I'm going to follow it around and try and keep up with it so that it's always pointed toward my face. Now this is really useful if you're playing with different people, especially if they're advanced and they throw you both clock and counter. It's going to be hard to know what, uh, what spin it is. So if somebody throws you a counter, you can see which direction it's going, wait for that rim, and then just follow it around. And eventually, once you get used to following it around, you can start to do things with it and experiment. For example, I'll follow this around, and then I'm going to go behind my back. There's a lot of things you can do just by following the disc around. This is as much uh, a good way to learn how to do the rim delay as it is a good piece of advice for freestyle in general. Sometimes following the disc around and letting the disc kind of have its way and, and then uh, accepting what it's doing and, and working with what it's doing can be really helpful in, in uh, stringing moves together and being consecutive.